Okay, so each team has a pen and paper for writing clues? And you all have your secret treasures? Hmm. So how this treasure hunt works is, each team will write three clues. The first clue will lead to the location of the second, and so on. At each location, you will find a secret treasure. Whichever team finds the secret treasures first will win the jackpot! Which is back in town, waiting. Just so we don't get in each other's way, why doesn't my team go this way? And Blueberry, your team could go that way. Good idea, Strawberry. Okay. We will have one hour to hide clues and treasure, and we'll gather back here afterwards. And then we can begin the treasure hunt. What's this all about, Strawberry? Yeah, what's so important we had to run over here? I wanted you to hear the rest of the Glimmerberry Gathering. We never got to finish. But why? There's not going to be a gathering this year. Please, everybody, just stay and listen. When I'm done, I think you'll understand. Custard, the lights. When that coldest of cold winters hit Berry Bitty City, the whole community worked hard to save the newly planted grove. But the weather kept growing harsher, and they knew the young plants weren't going to make it. Then, the littlest berrykin had an idea. We can carve out the frozen berries we do have, he said. And we can put glow bugs in them. Why would we do that? the others asked. If we took them to the groves, he explained, they might keep the plants warm. At first, they only laughed at the little berrykin. But then, they understood. It was their only hope. If the plants didn't make it, they'd have no food to eat and no power to run the little city. So they worked together and took the glowing berries into the field. <laughs> and it worked! The plants were saved but only because every single person in Berry Bitty City brought a lantern to help warm the berry plants. The people of Berry Bitty City saw that they had to depend upon each other, the way they depend on the glimmer berries. And so we celebrate the glimmer berry gathering every winter. Every person in Berry Bitty City carves a frozen <laughs> berry lantern. The whole town comes together and lights their lanterns in a circle. It is a promise everyone makes that the community will come together and help each other in the hard winter days to come. Friends helping friends. And that is what the gathering is really all about. Oh, oh my, I've really been acting so very silly. Now, there's one more thing I want to show you. Do you see this? Here. Wait, that's, that's, that's my design. That's right. And I drew one just like it. Hey, me too. So did I. We all did. I think you all saw it when I opened the box, but you didn't realize you'd seen it. That's how you came up with the same design. We all did. Oh, then, then, I accused you all of copying me when you didn't. Oh, I'm so sorry. I hope you can kind of, sort of, oh, forgive me. Well, sure, Raspberry. If you can forgive me. And me. Me too. I think we all overreacted. Oh, look, everybody. It's getting really frosty outside. I bet the berries are very frozen and perfect for carving. You had better hurry if you're going to get the glimmer berries carved in time. <laughs> Let's do it! Do it. Come, Let's on. Do it. Come on! Come on, everybody! Good 
morning, Strawberry. Hi, Raspberry. Hi, Strawberry. Morning, Lemon. Mmm, what's that fragrance? Oh, my new lemon hair scent. Like it? Oh, delicious. Great! I have a new strawberry scented shampoo that'd be perfect for you. Stop by later, I'll give you some. Thank you. <laughs> Morning, Orange. Morning, Strawberry. Where are you off to? Soon as I can catch Pupcake to Berry Glen for some strawberries. Need anything while I'm there? Oh, um, yes. Pick me a few sunflower seeds. You got it. What do you think, Pupcake? Rock custard? <coughs> oh, why, thank you. Hmm, now what rhymes with star? <gasps> I know, far! <clears throat> Up in the sky, so very far. <gasps> Look, what's that? A falling star. One wish to make, what will it be? A lot at stake, you must agree. Little white light, a glittering ball. With great delight, I watch it fall. Soon as it's gone, my wish comes then. To see before dawn, one fall again. Oh, huh? bravo! Delightful, Miss Shortcake, simply delightful. Oh, Mr. Longface, I'm so glad you're here. It's only a week until the next story time corner, and you're the perfect person to help me with the poem I'll be reading for everyone. It's almost there, I think, but I would be grateful for some help with these two words. Oh, twould be an honor. <laughs> oh, thank you. Just those two words are all that I... Oops, excuse me. Strawberry's Cafe, hope you're having a very nice day. Strawberry speaking. Oh, that's great. I'll be right over, Raspberry. Um, do you mind watching the cafe, Mr. Longface? Just running over to Raspberry's Boutique. Be right back. Why, certainly. Uh, take your time. Hmm, glittering. Oh, no, 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 no. Glittery. Yes. Cleaned up. Oops. <laughs> I think I left my Skittle Jinx by the cable queue joint. Come here, 
You got to see this. Everything's going crazy. I don't believe it. Come here, come here. You got to see this. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Stop shoving, would you? What are you talking about? Were you eating toast? No, no. It attacked me. Oh, you were attacked by a piece of toast. Well, Ed, I'm, I'm, I'm only telling you what happened. I don't know how she can stand it. Who can stand what? Strawberry can stand working in a cafe that's, you know, haunted. Haunted. Haunted? There's no such thing, Earl. Eesh, you and your fancy imagination. Well, Ed, I, I'm only telling you what... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got work to do. Come on. Hm. You made me leave my Skittle Jinx behind again. Well, Ed, I, I didn't mean to... Be... Wait for me! You stay up there! <sighs> Could you please tell the glow bugs we're ready? Thank you! When things aren't looking up And it seems you're out of luck Just think behind the clouds could be a beautiful seeds for orange.
Oh, my, my, Strawberry Shortcake. You are out early today. What is all this? My latest, greatest invention. A plant food that grows very many fruits and vegetables. No more rolling apples all the way into town. Now they're just the right size for us. Mmm, very delicious, too. Hi, guys. Hi, Plum Pudding. Where are you off to, Strawberry? On a camp out. I'm trying to write a poem about wishing on a shooting star, and Mr. Longface says to write about something, you should experience it. Ah, uh, yes. Just like when I dance, one has to feel it from within. Uh, yeah. Think it might be a little cold tonight for a camp out? Well, if this will make me a better writer, it's worth it. Oh, wait! I have some Glowberry Sunflower Energy Bars. They're just the thing for a camp out. Thanks, Plum. Looks like Raspberry's working late. Maybe she could use some munchies. Oh, do me a favor, will you? Make sure she's not working too hard on that dress she's making for me. Sure thing. A whole army of them! We must defend the city! Stop the bus! <laughs> what now? I left the hose running in the garden. I think uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Well, that is the very best I could do with such short notice. Amazing! What is it? A slinking slinker snatcher. Watch. <gasps> Very brilliant! Yeah, oh, I sort of thought so. Just a little farther. This is the last place the Slinker and Slinker was almost seen. Trap is set. Now what? Now we wait. It's very late. We don't want to wake the Berrykins. Let's be quiet. Oh, this sounds dreadful. Must be the slinking slinker. Shh. We don't want the berry kids to think there's somebody slinking around. Yeah, but we're slinking around. What is this doing out here? Oh, see? I knew the berry kids wouldn't put things away while we were gone. What is that? Looks like some kind of <gasps> trap. Ooh, sounds like we caught a big one. <laughs> oh, hey, these look a lot like strawberry shortcake. What are you doing here? Uh, we needed to come back <sighs> to check on the city. Um, uh, sort of. But the city is fine. That's why we built this trap. To protect Berry Bitty City from the Slinking Slinker. <laughs> the Slinking Slinker? That's just a story. <laughs> Did the baby Berrykins tell you it was real? Oh, oops. <laughs> I thought it was, and then when I heard well, someone slinking... Oh, my. <laughs> that was just us, I'm afraid. <laughs> Guess I let my worries carry me away. Running your businesses and taking care of the city were harder than we thought, but we did our very best. Didn't you trust us, Strawberry? Oh, it wasn't that. It was... It was me. I kept finding excuses to come back. I guess I was sort of afraid to leave Berry Bitty City. Aw, you were afraid? You could have told us. Oh, we understand. I'm sorry, Orange. 
It's no fun to feel afraid. Does it help to know we'll all be there together? It does. You're not afraid to sing, are you? And you're not afraid to put on a costume and get up on stage? No, of course not. Berry Bitty City is a very wonderful place, and we'd never leave it for long. You know that, right? What if, instead of thinking about what we're leaving behind, think of what's ahead? A great big adventure waiting for all of us. Yeah. Our band's first performance will be very amazing. I would never want to miss that. Uh, wait a minute, if you could. I have something for Orange. If ever I have occasion to travel from home, I always take this reminder of home with me. I'd like you to have it. Oh, look! It's Berry Bitty City. There's my house and my store. Oh, thanks. Thanks, everybody. I think I'm ready to go now. Come on, Sweet Beats. We can practice our song on the way. When we're a team, we can do anything. We're invincible. <laughs> Scouty, I feel like this is where we started. Are you leading us in circles? Guys, we better head back. Uh, let's call it a tie and we can all share the berry bitty banana chips. Yay! I'm starving! <laughs> What's wrong with the pups? <sighs> so that's where they were sneaking off to the whole time. Treasure is gone. <gasps> oh no, it's not. It's right here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to the cafe and I'll make a fresh batch of berry bitty banana chips. Raspberry! Just a minute, strawberry. Aha! Found it. What's all this? Well, I'm finishing up my winter fashion. It's very beautiful. So original. So one of a kind. Well, thanks. I've been putting my whole heart into this entire collection. <laughs> you outdo yourself every year, Raspberry. I just feel, what's the point of doing something unless it's the best? So, I'm not stopping till I get it totally, completely, absolutely right. Like you said, I really want to make something original. One of a kind, never been seen before. Well, come on, Custard and Pupcake. We better let Raspberry work. Oh, I'm having a reading tonight at the cafe. I'd really like it if you could come. Huh? Oh, oh yes, of course. Mm -hmm. I'll be there. Pupcake. <laughs> back and forth, but now I'm thinking I really like what I started with best, but now I'm worried I won't finish it in time. Oh, you poor thing. Can I help? I can cut stuff, or you could show me what to do. Oh, that's so sweet of you, but it's really important to me that I do this by myself. Know what I mean? I guess. Are you sure? I'm sure. I just hope I can. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness! <laughs> what are you saying? That I'm no fashion expert? <laughs> always in style, always in fashion, and it only 
only took me a couple of minutes. What's that? Not strawberry style? No problem. I'll just pull another model out of my sleeve. There. Hiya, hiya. I'm a strawberry snow dress. How do you like me? <laughs> oh, dear. Did I cheer you up? <laughs> oh, yeah, but now I really have to get back to work. Oh, I like this so much. I just want, I just hope, I just wish I can make it in time. You'll do it. You just need a good night's sleep, a fresh start in the morning, and I know you'll make your wish come true. I'll close up your shop. Really? Okay. Good night, Plum. <sighs> hmm. Thanks again. What are friends for? Blueberry? It's plum. Galloping gooseberries! Radishes and rutabagas. Who wanted the radishes and rutabagas? You know what? Who else for tomatoes, potatoes, turnips, and Excuse me. Um, pardon me. I beg your pardon. Oh, excuse me. Wow, is business ever booming? I brought you a sandwich. Thanks, but I can't take a lunch break just now. Papayas and peaches! Who ordered the papayas and... Right here, right here, right here! Just a bit busy. <laughs> wow, you really worked out a great system here. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Excuse me, those are for produce only. Get it done faster. 
if we work together. first frost. <laughs> yes, here it is. It tells all about the first winter in Berry Bitty City. I bet everybody would love to hear it again. I'll read it here in the cafe and invite everyone in Berry Bitty City. Come on, you two can help. <laughs> 